many people clean their throttle body, and just a few minutes later the car starts shaking violently the idle jumps around or even stalls. The scary part is that they did not perform the cleaning wrong, but they forgot a very important step right after that. And if you skip this step, no matter how clean the throttle body is, the car will keep shaking and you will think the engine is failing. In the next 30 seconds, I will show you exactly what you must do right after cleaning the throttle body before the shaking gets bad enough to make you panic. After the throttle body is cleaned, the amount of air passing through the throttle plate increases, but the ECU is still using old data, the data from when the throttle body was covered in carbon. This mismatch is what causes the shaking poor throttle response, the idle surging up and down like something is seriously wrong. In today's video, I will show you the single most important step that anyone must do right after cleaning the throttle body. If you do it correctly, the car will run smooth like new. If you skip it, the car can shake for days and may even trigger codes P500 and 5P507 or P2000, 119. And at the end of the video, I will share a bonus tip that professional mechanics use to help the ECU relearn faster, something most beginners do not know. Before we get into the fix, you need to understand why the car shakes after a throttle body cleaning. When the throttle body is dirty, the carbon buildup around the throttle plate restricts the airflow going into the engine. At that point, the ECU self-learns and adjusts to that dirty environment. It memorizes the throttle opening position, the airflow, and the amount of fuel needed. But after you clean it, the airflow through the throttle body increases suddenly while the ECU is still using the old data from when the plate was dirty. The result is an incorrect air-fuel mixture, unstable idle major RPM fluctuation, and sometimes stalling at stops. In other words, the shaking does not happen because you cleaned it wrong, but because the ECU has not yet learned that the throttle body is now clean. For the engine to run smoothly again, the ECU needs to relearn the new amount of air flowing through the throttle body. This process is called idle relearn. Idle relearn simply means the ECU resets all data for throttle plate position, intake, airflow, and the amount of fuel required at idle. When the throttle body is clean, the plate opens differently, the airflow changes, and the ECU must relearn everything from the beginning. If you skip this step, the ECU will continue using the old data for a newly cleaned throttle body. That is why the engine shakes heavily, the idle becomes unusually high, or the check engine light turns on. Idle relearn is not optional, it is required after every throttle body cleaning. If you do not have a scan tool, do not worry. You can still perform a manual idle relearn with very good results. The standard procedure has four steps. Step 1. Turn the key to the on position for 10 seconds without starting the engine. Step 2. Turn the key off and wait another 10 seconds. Step 3. Start the engine and let it idle naturally. For about 10 minutes, do not press the gas, do not turn on the AC, do not move the steering wheel. Step 4. Turn the engine off and restart it again. Within a few minutes, the ECU will begin relearning the new airflow through the throttle body. Most vehicles will stabilize their idle right after the second start. If you have a scan tool, the idle relearn process will be faster and more accurate. On tools like Autel, Launch, Foxwell, or Think Diag, simply enter the menu, ETCS, Reset Idle Relearn, Throttle Position, Reset, or A, F Relearn, depending on the vehicle. The tool will automatically recalibrate all throttle position, airflow, and fuel trim data back to factory specifications. This process takes only 30 to 60 seconds. When it is completed, the idle will stabilize immediately with no shaking and no fluctuation. If you want the most precise and fastest result, this is the method technicians always choose. One reason many cars shake after a throttle body cleaning that most people do not think about is a vacuum leak. When you remove the intake hose, disconnect a sensor, or move the throttle body even a slightly loose connection, or a vacuum hose that slips off will completely change the airflow going into the engine. The ECU cannot measure the unmetered air entering the system, and that is what causes high idle or heavy shaking. To check for this, you can spray lightly around the areas such as the intake boot, the PCV hose, the small vacuum hoses, and the throttle body base. If the RPM increases when you spray a certain spot, it means that area is leaking air. You only need to tighten the clamp, reconnect the hose properly, or replace an old rubber hose, and the shaking will disappear immediately. Another reason the engine shakes after a throttle body cleaning is a damaged throttle body gasket that you do not notice. 
The rubber gasket between the throttle body and the intake manifold becomes hard, cracked, or deformed over time. When you remove the throttle body for cleaning and reinstall it, the old gasket may no longer seal properly, allowing air to enter unintentionally. Even a very small gap is enough to cause a high idle RPM fluctuation or heavy shaking even though the throttle body is perfectly clean. So after cleaning, make sure to inspect the gasket carefully. If the gasket is dry, hard, torn, or does not sit flat against the metal surface, replace it immediately. It only costs a few dollars, but it determines whether the engine will run smooth or not. Another reason the engine still shakes after cleaning the throttle body is a dirty MAF sensor. A clean throttle body allows more air to enter, but if the MAF sensor is reading the airflow incorrectly, the ECU will miscalculate the fuel delivery. The result is an incorrect air-fuel mixture engine, shaking and unstable idle. So after cleaning the throttle body, you should also clean the MAF sensor with a proper MAF cleaner. Just a few light sprays are enough, and never use carb cleaner or brake cleaner because they can damage the tiny sensing wires inside the MAF sensor. If you have watched this far, I know you truly care about your vehicle. So I want to share another important video made specifically for people who understand the value of proper maintenance. Stop cleaning your MAF sensor like this, it's killing your engine. I believe you will find it just as useful as this one. The link is in the video description. When the MAF reads correctly, the throttle body is clean and the ECU has relearned the system, the engine will run as smooth as when it was new. After cleaning the throttle body, the engine may still shake, not because you did something wrong, but because old error codes are still stored inside the ECU. Common codes that appear after a throttle body cleaning include P050 SIM, idle control system malfunction, P507 idle speed, higher than expected, P2101 or P2119, throttle body position not learned correctly. If you see these codes, use a scan tool to clear them all, then perform the idle relearn again. Once the old data is erased, the ECU will relearn from the beginning, and the idle will stabilize immediately. Many people skip this step, and that is exactly why the engine shakes, even though the cleaning was done perfectly. Bonus! There is one big misunderstanding that almost everyone makes. After cleaning the throttle body, the engine must run smooth immediately. The truth is, after cleaning the idle is often higher than normal, and the RPM may rise to 1500 or even 2000. This is not a problem. This is the ECU trying to adapt to the new clean and increased airflow. This can last from a few minutes to a few days depending on the vehicle. The ECU needs time to relearn just like when you install a completely new throttle body. The important thing is, if you followed the procedure correctly and there are no vacuum leaks, the engine will stabilize again. Do not panic and do not assume the throttle body is damaged. This is a completely normal reaction after cleaning. Just by understanding this, you already know more than 90% of people who clean their throttle body themselves. If you have watched until this point, I sincerely appreciate it. It shows that you care about your vehicle far more than most car owners. And to help you go even further, I have a very important video made for you. The link is in the description. Stop cleaning your MAF sensor like this, it's killing your engine. This is the next step you should not miss. Thank you for watching. I wish you and your vehicle smooth and reliable performance.